A cloud of dust, 30 feet of missing guardrail. One car unaccounted for, another crippled. Then a gas tank torn loose from the disabled car by the shock of collision is crushed by another car and ignites. In seconds, a chain of events that can lead to disaster confronts every driver hurtling into the corner. The missing car is Bill Brown's. It pitched over a 26-foot embankment and lies wrecked, although the driver is all right. ...in record numbers on the road and at the racetrack. warns all drivers but but he's getting out he's all right look out bill champion throws a wheel and over he goes the yellow flag alerts all drivers to reduce speed and hold their position They continue in any condition. A car through the rail in the first turn. It's Pagan. Pagan blew a tire, smashed through the guardrail, and rolled down the 40-foot embankment. A jam up on the far turn. Cars are righted and continue in the scramble. But there's plenty of litter on the track, and the race momentarily slows down. for 160 miles of top speed straightaways and sizzling turns. 10,000 spectators line the beach road course at Daytona to watch this year's stock car race. And close attention is paid to the turns. These jalopy jockeys are in for a jar and jolting time, and they know it, and we know it. So hold on tight. The turnover is terrific. And it was financial turnover, which was the attraction after the Second World War. Look at there, another car turning over. It's our friend Joey Ray. It's almost the same place as Perser upset in the first place. The pace on the first turn is almost unbelievable. <laughs> it's Junior Johnson in 75. He's getting out. There's a 33 with Iron Mike McGill spun through the wall and down the embankment. 
living up to his nickname, Iron Mike is not seriously injured. get in there in the first place. Wonderful, he can still smile. Beginning in 1948 and lasting till 1971, the NASCAR Grand National Division. usually kill somebody about once a week and uh, they didn't have any safety measures in.